英語聞き流し10分間名作リスニング英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロードその他の物語はホームページよりご利用いただけます 88thpp.com 88thpp.com When my great great grandfather passed away, the family sought any possible way to sustain the line of the family succession. He had four sons. His firstborn, who had been supposed to succeed the family, was perverted possibly because his father had drunk up the family fortune. He had tattoos all over his body and became a Yakuza, a Japanese mafia member. His father disowned him and kicked him out from the family. He drifted in from time to time though, and the family member asked him to leave with some money. My great great grandfather's second son died young and his third son had been adopted to a samurai family. As his fourth son was too young, the family called back his third son as a successor from a samurai family. That's my great grandfather. By then, most of our ancestral land and all the servants were gone thanks to my great great grandfather's lavish extravagance. My great grandfather needed to work as a farmer by himself on a scarce piece of the remaining land instead of making tenant farmers work for him, which his ancestors had been doing for a long time. While he worked side by side with the ex tenant farmers whom the family once employed, he got married and had a daughter and a son who was my grandfather. Since my great grandfather wanted my grandfather to be a teacher, I suppose that he was poised to end the family's farming business and its succession. But in reality, things went to the contrary. Because of his unaccustomed work and way of life, he got ill and passed away in his middle age. His son, that is my grandfather, gave up what he wanted for his life and began to work as a farmer to support the family. He did it well, gained back some land and passed it on to my father. Both the family business and its need for a successor sustained. Even my great great grandfather who dissipated his inheritance money, his first son who became a Yakuza, or his third son who wanted to close down the family business couldn't break succession. They all continued to live and raise a family on the same ancestral land, and their children did the same. Unexpectedly, it is I who finally moved out of the house and am very much likely to end the family as I am. Audiobooks by Hidemi Woods. First audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hidemi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Second audiobook, My Social Distancing and Naked Spa in Japan by Hidemi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. I got up 1 pm and when I arrived at Costco after walking to the station and taking a train and a bus, it was already 7 pm by the time I finished shopping and started back home, I felt exhausted because of heat, humidity, and the long trip. Platforms of the train station were packed with commuters, although it was 9 pm they were waiting for the train, standing squeezing each other and almost spilling over from the platform. I was sitting on a bench at the platform to take a rest and watching them get on the train, crammed and holding a strap. I was impressed by their physical strength. They get up early in the morning, commute all the way, work all day long, and still have this energy left, while I get up in the afternoon, go shopping, and rest on a bench waiting for the less crowded train. To me, this is a once or twice a month thing, but they are doing this every day. Are they human beings with mighty power? Or, I'm a super weak person. Can I withstand all summer like this? Audiobooks by Hidemi Woods. First audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hidemi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Second audiobook, My Social Distancing and Naked Spa in Japan by Hidemi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total.
The oldest episode of my ancestors that I heard from my grandfather is about my great-great-grandfather, and I hereby write it down for the record. According to my grandfather, his grandfather was quite a prodigal. He didn't work and just squandered the family money. Our family was a powerful landowner when he inherited the family fortune and became a master of the family. They had lived in the same house I grew up and all the land stretched as far as the eye could see from it was his land back then. He had a lot of tenant farmers that worked for him in his land. Many servants lived on the family premises and also quite a few relatives of the family lived in the house. My grandfather once showed me his old photographs in which our distant relatives were taken together. I asked if they were group photos of some important events, and he told me that they all lived together in this very house. Our house was over 100 years old and the remnants of my great-great-grandfather's prime were here and there. The old kitchen remained on the earth floor with one big and six or seven small clay ovens. We didn't use them anymore but I always wondered how much cooking was needed for how many people when that ovens were used. Across the front yard from the house was a gate building in which had a small room. It was my first own room when I entered elementary school, but it used to be one of the quarters for the servants. Beside the gate, an old wooden container with carriage poles was parked on the wall. In old days, it was used as a fire extinguisher that people carried water in the container with the poles on their shoulders. Only a powerful family had it for the entire hamlet. Our old local name that had been used in place of our family's last name was written on the side of the container, telling how big our family used to be. On a hot summer day, my great-great-grandfather made his servants take him to the river that runs through the busy district just to make them fan for him and cool himself down. All year round, he visited a place where geishas served him and had a party. He was a lavish spender and the family fortune dwindled away. Instead of working, he sold his ancestral land piece by piece for his extravagance. As his land had been passed to his tenant farmers and the number of his servants had shrunk fast, he kept partying. By the time he died, only the house and a few tiny pieces of nearby land had remained. No one knows why he lived that way, but he drank up the family fortune. I imagine he must have had painful parties and have drunk terrible sake every time. Audiobooks by Hitomi Woods First audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Second audiobook, My Social Distancing and Naked Spa in Japan by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Beside my new apartment is a mountain which sloping side has a fancy Italian restaurant. Normally it's beyond my price range but I had an opportunity to eat there at 30% off. The website said it took 15 minutes from the foot of the mountain and I started to walk up a steep slope. At first I enjoyed a fine view of flowers on the roadside and the town stretching below, but 20 minutes later, I was sweating all over without any sign of the restaurant. The steep road quietly continued to twist back and forth up the side of the mountain. When my feet became close to the end of their strength and I sweated for three saunas, I finally arrived at the restaurant. Sweat spoiled my dress, makeup and hairdo and I entered the place looking like I had been caught in a downpour. The restaurant was perfect with an exquisite atmosphere and delicious meals, except for the whacking prices. By the time I came down the mountain from there and reached my apartment, I was totally exhausted and even began to have a headache. It was so strong that a painkiller couldn't ease. Since I moved in, I've been walking so much wherever I go, but I feel I've weakened rather than strengthened. Because my walking destinations are mostly restaurants, I haven't thinned either. Audiobooks by Hitomi Woods First audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Second audiobook, My Social Distancing and Naked Spa in Japan by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Ego 
聞き流し10分間、名作リスニング、英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロード、その他の物語は、ホームページよりご利用いただけます。88thpp.com。88thpp.com。大好評ヒデミウッズがデザインしたとってもかわいいオリジナルグッズが手に入るトートバッグ缶バッジステッカー T シャツトレーナーパーカー文具その他いろいろエリゼンドットコムで見てみてね「ERIZEN.com」「ERIZEN.com」エリゼンドットコム。